Well, I would say this video went really well. This was a success, in my humble opinion. Yep, that's me. I bet you're wondering how I got into this situation. Well, it all started a couple weeks ago on this channel's Discord, which you can join through the link in the description below. There was a nice, calm, civilized conversation about best practices when developing instant film. And then I had to come in there with my big brain and suggest that Instax film would work in a toaster. So that was really smart because now I gotta make a video about it. Instant film. What is it? How does it work? I don't know. But today we're gonna put it in a, in a toaster. I bought this toaster just for this occasion. It was $10 at Target, so my expectations are extremely high. We don't need that. Is this thing broken? Dude, that'll really harsh the vibe of this video. It wasn't broken, that's just a latch to like get crumbs and stuff out of there. Yeah, good design, I guess. Not sponsored. This. So this is a fire pit. We've decided to put the toaster in there because I have mild concerns about fires breaking out. For those of you who are new around here, you might not know Horseman. His... Horseman is great with electronics, so he's gonna be assisting today. So I think this, oh my God. <laughs> We're not, we don't have a lot of money here, so I can't really get better assistance in these videos, but that's all good. He's just gonna set this up for us and we're gonna get going, all right? So, yeah. D no, those, no, no, don't, don't put that in your mouth. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> the toaster has a variety of settings, um, but what I've learned in my life is we need to immediately turn it up to the maximum. I quickly snapped a control photo of Horseman. I'm gonna use this photo for the next step of my master plan, but it's also a beautiful keepsake of my good friend. <laughs> for the keenly astute members of my audience, you might notice that this photo is completely black. I think it has to do with the temperature. It was really cold, and I think the developer couldn't start in the Instax film. So maybe, in a weird way, putting it in the toaster is what God intended. I took another shot with the Polaroid Spectra, and weirdly, that one did work. Unexpected, because Polaroid is usually really finicky in the cold. Hmm. Keep that in mind for later, but for now, let's get back to my evil plan. My concern, putting them directly into the toaster, is that I fear they're gonna melt and ruin the toaster. Now we're gonna try it anyway, but what I've decided to do is take this bread, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this bread into a film carrier. And we're gonna just rip this apart. Here you go, horseman. <clears throat> so the idea is we will have the bread like this, kind of like an egg in a nest, which is my favorite breakfast. Can you, can you, can you point the camera at me? Ooh. Thank you. So we'll keep the film in the bread and then we'll put the bread in the toaster. That will ensure, first of all, that the Instax gets cooked evenly on both sides, but also that it won't melt in the toaster. We're gonna just make a mess real quick. We're gonna load this. We're gonna put that in there, we're gonna do that, we're gonna do this. I think the photo fell right out. Oh, that smells. You smell that? Yeah, breathe yeah. it in. Oh, like fuck. Don't breathe this. It's smoking. All right, maybe I should, should I pop it? I'm gonna pop it. Uh-oh. Well, the best laid plans, right? <coughs> oh, fuck. Didn't exactly go to plan. Shout out to my Discord for making me do this. I gotta tell you, I was pretty nervous about scanning these cause, you know. <coughs> the dust. But then I remembered my Epson V550 is Our Lady of Perpetual Dust, so it doesn't really matter that much. And I'm glad I did anyway, cause look at the ethereal beauty of this shot. The colors. The charred remains. Beautiful. We definitely need to keep going after this one. After carefully scraping the melted instax out of the inside of the toaster, we were ready for round two. Thanks, Daddy O. Oh, that's good. By the way, if my subject isn't clear to you, I'm taking a photo of the toaster in the fire pit. See, the good thing now is that the bread is like not as floppy as before because it's toasted. So I think it'll hold it better. 
The second one started melting really quick so I popped it and we decided it would be a good idea to lower the temperature a little bit. So before we were a 7, now we're about a 4. That's making me a little nervous. Oh! Okay, that almost set on fire. Yeah, you got some embers there. I left this one in for the full toast cycle until it popped. My finest work. Oh, it's, look, the rest of the photo is on the side of the toaster. I don't know why that sentence trailed off like that. My brain sucks. This is still a working hypothesis, but I think we might have left it in the toaster just a little too long for this one. Simple solution, a lower setting on the toaster. Oh, it's not plugged in. No, it's, we're wasting develop time. Oh, it fell in. It's developing, guys. So I left it in the toaster full duration until it popped, level two toast setting, but unfortunately the photo fell out of the bread. I was about to end this video and my life on a very spectacular highlight, but Horseman saved my life. The toaster was still plugged in and I was about to put those in there. Good call, good call. That's an excellent call. But anyway, we fished it out and uh, yeah, great results. This is why I love shooting with film because it's so unpredictable. Like I mean, make what you know, right? So with things going so great, all this success, I decided it was a good idea to change up the strategy a little bit. I was just getting, you know, bored of, of all that <laughs> success. I decided to cap the cook time at 30 seconds max. I'm gonna wind up the shot for this decisive moment. It turned very blue. Let's leave it to its, the rest of its natural development life and see what happens. Not much, but the photo wasn't eviscerated into ash, so I'd say we're going in the right direction here. My new theory was allow the photo to start developing and then put it in the toaster. Uh. Oh yeah! Do you see what I see? That's, that's the bread right there, the bread and the toaster. It's very blue, very dark, but all of God's secrets are being revealed. It's beautiful! Once more with feeling and a little bit extra development time. Beautiful, we are really on to something here. I have this Polaroid Spectra film. And you know, Polaroid Spectra, it's discontinued. It's getting harder and harder to find. And uh, did I mention it's expensive? So, I mean, what better thing to do than put it in a toaster? So, you know, this might be good because Polaroids need it to not be this cold. So I wonder if by putting it in there, we're like helping. We're doing what we're supposed to. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna pop it. We'll do an, oh no. Uh, ooh. Ooh, oh, that's hey. There wasn't really a ton to get so excited about, but at that point, I was just really excited to not see a photo charred and destroyed. But interestingly, like I said earlier, the spectra seemed to be reacting to the environment better. So let's mess around with the settings a little bit. The uh, toaster settings, of course. You mind cracking me another beer? I'm gonna have to compose myself a little bit here, but uh, that is a toaster I'm seeing. That is just beautiful, look at that. Suddenly, I know how Ansel Adams felt when he developed Moonrise Hernandez. Actually, this photo kind of makes me think of cheese. <laughs> We're gonna make history. You ready for this technique? I decided to do a double decker, the Instax in one, the Spectra in the other. That's how you know it's working. <laughs> History was not made. I accidentally left them both in there way too long. Can someone pass me the pliers? The Spectra photo came out pretty charred and damaged on the top right corner. Also kind of blue, which is kind of surprising because the others were going a little bit more towards the yellow side of things. I wasn't able to recover the Instax. It kind of looked like a dog teared. In the true Sweet Lou photography fashion, we can't leave well enough alone. I went for another Spectra shot, this time only about 30 seconds. Whoa. But we definitely got somewhere. The Instax film, it just can't hang in a toaster. The Spectra film, it kinda can. Look at that toaster. It's beautiful. 
The distressed tones? Everything about this screams high art. But what would happen if you left the Spectra photo in for five minutes? All right, so this is gonna be the last one. We're gonna crank this baby up and I'm just gonna throw a Spectra in there. Yeah, it's really bad. Well, I would say this video went really well. This was a success, in my humble opinion. Oh, you burned it. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Another age-old question answered. Instax film doesn't work very well in a toaster, but the Polaroid Spectra film, on the other hand, surprised me. Even more respect for that format. And those of you who follow the channel know I really like Spectra a lot, but this is a new height. So I think we can finally put the debate to bed and say that Polaroid is better and Instax sucks and is garbage and no one should shoot it very clearly because it doesn't work in a toaster. I think we all learned a valuable lesson today. And to the lovely people in my Discord, this video is for you. Thank you for all the constant support, all the laughs. You guys are wonderful people. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Before we get out of here, we're gonna talk about the feature and today's feature the theme is food i figured there's a lot of bread in this episode so food photography kind of made sense and today's feature is going to dnrvs on instagram i just love the light i love the tones and just seems like such a nice little moment captured there beautiful stuff and happy birthday to whoever that is all right, guys, that is going to be the stunning conclusion of 10K week. Thank you so much for tuning in to all the videos. I hope you enjoyed them. Please give this video a share because it definitely shortened my life expectancy. Breathing in all those chemicals, you know, I'm probably going to grow a fourth arm soon. But uh, stay tuned because I don't think this is the last video of the year. You wouldn't want to miss anything. So smash that subscribe button. Give the video a share, a like, a comment. Tell me how you're doing. Hope you enjoyed the holidays. Hope you enjoyed 10K week. And I will catch you very soon. Maybe tomorrow. Shh, don't tell anyone. All right, bye. Like, like and subscribe. subscribe. To sweet little photography. photography. You're the man.